My name is Sebastian Kloborg and I'm a performer and choreographer in this Ukrainian constructivism project. It was filmed by Tom McKenzie, who is also behind the camera right now. As with any other project, we ask ourselves the question, what is the story? And for this specific project, we were so fortunate to be surrounded by an amazing team of both historians and artists who all have a deep knowledge of the ideas and concepts of Ukrainian constructivism. And also with a deep knowledge of the time and history of which the architect Lodis Dambese lived and worked in Ukraine. Our initial approach was to pick out key elements and the essence of each scene. And because we knew we were the first ones to produce material and that we eventually in the final result would be surrounded by images of text, music, collage and archival footage, we found it necessary to have a less is more approach to the project since we knew that the final result would be an interactive experience. The work process really reminded us of a cadaver exquisite drawing game where one person draws an image, folds the paper in half and passes on to the next artist, leaving a little gap of information and at the end you have completed an image with a whole new meaning. This way of working really reminded us of how important it is to trust your co-creators in a process like this. You know what you're good at and you have to trust that your fellow artists know exactly what they're doing. I have to trust Tom in his choices of lighting, editing and angles. And through that trust, he will hopefully elevate my work to a whole new level. Stylistically, we found out through a workshop with Sergei Svyachenko that we would be shooting our part in black and white, both to complement the other elements of the project, some in black and white and some in color, but also to create a timeless feel. When we were on set, it really felt like a journey for me as a performer, because we were shooting chronologically, scene by scene from beginning to end. Each scene has a very specific look and they are all able to loop, which allows the other elements to unfold before moving on to the next chapter. In my work as a choreographer, I'm deeply fascinated by making the familiar look unfamiliar, by taking everyday movements and making them absurd. For this story, I used one choreographic phrase and approached it from different angles in order to show the progression of historical events and also what the hollowness of an ideology might look like. It's been an incredibly inspiring process and way of working for us. And we've also learned so much about Ukrainian constructivism and Ukrainian history. So now we just hope you'll enjoy the final result.